Welcome back to another level grind let's play. I am Al Zero and this is Danganronpa Trigger Happy Havoc. Last time we played we did some free time with Kyoko and then some stuff went down with Alter Ego. But now we're in free time and now I'm gonna hang out with Kyoko who for whatever reason likes to hide behind this machine. So let's let's <sighs> talk to her again. What's the matter? Are you keeping an eye on me? <laughs> Don't worry I'm not gonna kill anyone. Hmm, should I talk to Kyoko? Yeah, so, when you get Kyoko's skill. I was just about to head to the dining hall to get something to drink. <laughs> you want to come with me? Yeah, go hang out. Go to the dining hall and drink some tea with Kyoko. Oh, she likes tea. Do I have any tea? Yes, 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 yes. I want to give her again. Do I have any tea? I thought I... Oh, no. I don't have any more. Oh, what was she like? Okay, she didn't like the thing we gave her last time. So, uh, someone else's graduation album? Maybe... What is this thing? Uh, flip the switch on the bottom since it's all shaking. It's a kid's so No, she doesn't want like that. Maybe she likes a sacred tree spring? Branches of Sakaki tree. He used to Shinto rituals. This is a connection between humans and the No, she wouldn't like that. Maybe she likes pumice. Small light. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Come on, this one makes you think that shining the light will turn you into small, but nope, it's just about the sight and stuff. But, uh, um, effects? She be a full length novel based on what the world would look like if someone's dream came true. No. Green costume? Man's fantasy? School crest? Spare bat? Oh, I can't get that crap. Okay. Alright, you know what? Let's give it a small light. I think she'd like that. This is something you don't see too often. Do you mind if I keep it? I like to take a little closer look at it. Does that mean she liked it? Yeah, I think she liked it. Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, um, Kyoko? If you're expecting conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. Hmm? You could certainly you could certainly make the argument that forming friendships may help prevent killings. Soreba. But you're asking for some kind of deep connection? Wait, but are you asking for some kind of deep connection? Huh? You could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friend so you can gather information. No, that's not. Well right, then, let's do a quick test, shall we? A, a test? Silly. If you're as gung-ho on friendship as you claim, this should be an easy question. Oh, okay, so I just have to answer your question, is that it? Yeah. Are you ready? You consider Hina one of your friends, yes? So right. If that's true, what's her ultimate ability? That's an easy one. Kino's ultimate ability is she's training for the Olympics and <laughs> the ultimate knight's body. <laughs> That's all. She's the ultimate swimming pro. The ultimate swimming pro, of course. So, well, ask and answer. Do yara. Then you please. Then your pleas of camaraderie are true. Of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you can never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again, that foolishly open stuff. Yeah. Okay, then, as promised, what would you like to know about me? Oh, um, let's see. What school did you used to go to before you came here? Before I came here, I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it an exchange program, or do your parents work overseas or something? My parents, I suppose. Why all the question marks? Anyway, okay, she was, she was living abroad because of her dad's job. So, what kind of work does he do? Foreign government. Top secret clearance? More question marks. Okay, so this. Okay, so he does top secret work with other governments. All I can think of is. Assassin? <sighs> I kept up my end of the deal. Done. This should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. She left without even waiting for a reply. He's so freaking full of mystery. And hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. Yeah! I didn't get her skill though. Okay, once we're all done, I head back to my room for a little while. Alright. Okay, okay, I can hang out with her again. I think this is like a full free day. Hopefully there's no knock on the door. I still have some time. I feel like I'm wasting my time sitting around here. I should go look around. Uh, oh, crap, I didn't want to press that. No, I gotta go to the map. Okay, Kyoko, please tell me you're somewhere other than the freaking room hiding. <gasps> yes! Oh! Oh! Oh, I want to talk to Kyoko, but I also want to talk to freaking Toko. Toko? Okay, whoever I come across first. 
Oh, wait, if I turn left. Oh, okay. Where's Kyoko? I mean, where's, uh... Okay, so I know where Kyoko is, but let's just find out. Where was she hiding? If I had turned left first... Um... Was she around here somewhere? Uh... Oh! Oh! Ah, she's crazy. Okay, get away from her. Don't need nightmares. Talk to her. What's the matter? Why are you bouncing around like a brow ra uh, like a little rabbit? <laughs> Do you have anything to do? Huh, should I talk to Yoko? Yeah. There's no reason to decline. I'm not the type to decline anyway. She's blushing. She likes me. Besides, I find myself more and more intrigued by someone like you. Yeah. See, I'm a likable guy. I spent some time with Kyoko. Um, yes, I want to give her a gift. But I don't know what to give her because now, uh, Max Gloves? Oh my god, I just got the reference. Max gloves. <laughs> Power boxing gloves infused with a staggering amount of passion and effort. Wearing them makes you want to throw a thousand cross counters. <sighs> I don't think I don't think she would like that. Maybe she wants glasses. Does Kyoko wear glasses? I don't even have any, so it doesn't matter. What is this? LA style premier gothic look. No, that's for what's her face? Jimmy Decay shirt. Limited edition, street to legendary punk rocker Jimmy Decay. Only a hundred were ever made. Maybe she liked that? Let's give her that. Is this so, This is something you don't see too often? You know what? Yeah, she loved that. Oh, Kyoko. How do you stay so calm, Kyoko? Huh? Calm? I mean, you never lose your cool. You never show emotion. <laughs> you say that like I'm some kind of inhuman beast. N no, I didn't mean it like that. No. Well, I am human. I do have emotions. I simply keep it to myself. I don't show it to my... I don't show it in my face or in my voice. You make it sound like it's way easier than it is. Especially in these kind of circumstances. So should it be you. Well, you should consider trying. Your naive honesty makes you an easy target. You keep saying things like that. It's kind of irritating. Is there anything I could say to get a, get a reaction out of her? Come on. Protect against deception and never allow others to read your emotions. And whoever stands before you, don't let them push you around. So, remember that. And that's why you hide your own feelings? But, oh, but. That's such a waste. Hmm? Your smile is just so cute. Hiding it behind that mask is such a waste. A bright smile is, always, is way better. So, no. What are you talking about? None. Yeah, she liked that. Look at that. She's seen. She was, she's already got like a kind of a purple complexion. It, it's kind of weird. Like you notice her blushing, but it kind of like blends in with her color scheme. You cute. It's too much. Too much. It's much too soon to bring up things like that. Ah, looks like I got you to show a hint of emotion, didn't I? Hmm? What? You, Mokoto, you. Masako. You deceived me. No, no, girl. No, no. Uh huh. Wait. I don't believe this. You, to use the word Q to deceive someone. That's just too cruel. S sorry, I just got carried away. But still, I didn't deceive you, but it's not like it was a total lie. <sighs> you see how easily you. <laughs> oh, what a bitch. You see how easily you yourself are deceived? Huh? No. You would never just come out and call someone cute like that. Completely out of character. You thought I wouldn't pick up on such an obvious ploy? What you mean? I thought I tricked you, but it was but I was the one getting tricked. <laughs> Watch yourself, Makoto, you're honest to a fault. With that she was gone. The most formidable opponent. Yeah! Neural liberation. Booyah. Alright, we're gonna hang out with Toko next. She's our next girl to, to get something. With Kyoko gone, it's only my way back to my room. It's gonna be nighttime. I think you only get two hangouts and then it's night. Like, yeah, pretty much. Hey, yeah, 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 good night. Don't let the back box bite. Nighttime already. I guess I'll just go to bed for today. Sweet. When we wake up, we're gonna have some breakfast. After the Monokuma Theater, then we're gonna hang out with Toko. Well, hopefully she's not crazy, Toko. 
Happy New Day. Yeah, I'm the kind of, I'm the, I'm the kind of guy. I don't want to celebrate a new year. I want to celebrate the dawn of every new day. Because every new day deserves celebrating. So. Yeah, well, well. All right, well, it's short and sweet. Okay, let it be another free day, please. Free day. I want to hang out with some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful day. Better get to the dining hall. Uh, can I just skip to the dining hall? I think I can. No, I can't go right there. Okay, uh, do, do, do. there it is. I'm get my bearings here. Using the quick warps are, it's actually better than just running everywhere, because then you save a lot more time. Ah, look at everything. Awesome. Taka and Kyoko are not here today. Daddy. Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. I have no idea what I'm talking about. Maybe I'm, well, just forget about that guy. Uh, I know, sir. You don't have to get so mad. Daddy. They're rivals in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me on the same level as that. That virgin. I might catch his virginity. Gaydoyo. Nah, my guess is you're already infected. <laughs> oh, burn. Wait, you, can you really catch it? <laughs> Stop being so vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. But as soon as my hands approach my food. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> huh? That voice? Doors of the dining hall exploded open, and a figure appeared. <laughs> <laughs> so it's you, Genocide Jack. And yeah, don't bother asking. Uh, don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Huh. I'll give you a hint. <laughs> I'm wearing red lingerie today. Uh, lingerie? I'm wearing red lingerie today. Huh? Um, I don't think anyone wanted to know. Uh? Hold on a sec, you. Huh? What's your top power level? Like 35, 22, 33? You start out big on top and try to look thinner down south. Look at your melons. They're seriously gargantuan. Do you dunk them in milk every night or something? You're starting to freak me out. If you lay a finger on Hina, I'll show you no mercy. <sighs> So, what do you want? Surely you're not here just to join us for breakfast? Gozenda. Of course not. I came here for... Uh, I came to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Oh. Sorry, but we can't talk about that right now. Nanda. Why not? <laughs> because of certain circumstances. <sighs> Up until now... Oh, up till now, you haven't given a crap about anything, and now you're all concerned? I don't buy it. I've just made a decision. When we get out of here, I'm going to feed your body to the vultures. What kind of messed up dictator are you? Nanda. But this isn't a democracy. Or do you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrant, tyrannical majority? That's not what we're doing. Well, whatever. If nothing else, tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to notice something that seemed off, so I was curious. Mm. Taka has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. Did his spirit collapse or something? Was he unable to withstand this environment? Those men with cloth, who cloth themselves in the cheap fabric of justice, are often the first to fall. <laughs> but perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Interesting? I mean, meh. Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie, or you'll reap its bitter reward. That's why you came? Get to give us this amazing advice? <laughs> it seems I am unwelcome here. Then I will grant you your desire to remove myself. <laughs> yeah, let's get out of here. You don't need to come with me. Oh. You know what? Aw, oh, look. That's such a cute picture of her. I like that. I'm gonna take a little picture of that. Yeah. Screenshot save. You don't have to play hard to get, Master. Oh, you don't have to get play. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You don't have to get play hard to get, Master. You can just play hard. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. You can start to slowly back out of the room. 
He started picking up speed and he was sprinting out of the dining hall. He ran away. So now he's running hard to get. I see. I. Uh, <laughs> God damn, I love that. Wait, 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 yeah, yeah. So at the end there, what was that all about? What? Just now, Bianca was like. <laughs> Maybe he liked the mean guy who starts acting different or getting all flustered when things change. Hmm. Guess so. Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast, then went back to our rooms. Hmm. What to do today? Yeah, more free time. All right, let's go hang out with Kyoko because that girl makes me laugh. Let's see, where is she? Oh, hey, she's in the freaking laundry room today. <laughs> Alright, where's Kyoko? Where are you, girl? Hello? Where are you hanging out today? Uh, there you are. Um, she's in class 3B. Okay, let's go there. Let's go hang out with her since we got Kyoko's first skill. And that's, um, that's not, a, well, that's where we go next. Class 3B. Where, where the hell was it? No, that's where I came from. Um, no. 3B. Where the hell are the classroom? Oh, that's the way out. There has to be. Okay, there has to be over here. God, this place is freaking huge. Cla is this class 3B? That's the rec room. That's the stairs. 3B, okay, there it is. Damn, this whole freaking floor is huge. Oh, she's crazy genocide or Jill. All right, talk to her. Oh, I feel so nice being able to act like my normal murderous self in public. <laughs> One side of my personal freedom. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I want to spend some time with her. <laughs> Perfect. I was starting to get totally irritated at not being able to kill anyone. So if I can't kill... At least I can beat the ever-loving crap out of something. She might like some weapons. I think I got some weapons. She just had a jack chase me around the school, her fist flailing. Oh god, that face. Oh, It's creepy, man. Yeah, I got a little closer to her. Alright, let's give her something. She's crazy, so she likes crazy stuff. What if I gave her... Um... Uh, the thong. Yeah, let's give her the thong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A present out of nowhere? Uh, I'm getting all flustered. I get the impression that she liked it. That's good. What? What? <gasps> what? That was it? Still have some time. What? Poor shit. No, I wanna. No. Gotta go talk to her again. No. What the hell? She there was no like dialogue or anything. There she is. Let's go talk to just find her. Toko, where are you hiding? Kyoko, no, I've already talked to you. To Kyoko? There she is. Hey, you didn't talk to me last time. You took my gift and ran. I don't give a toot about you. Where did Master go? Tell me or I'll kill you. Hmm. It's a really good idea to hang Yeah, let's hang out. All right, you can help me track down, Master. No, I want you to freaking talk to me. Did I just get a little? Did I just get a little closer to Genocide Jack? Yeah. Let's give her. Let's give her the other thong since we know that works. Okay, give her that. Yeah, she liked it. I think the person that she liked it—that's good. Oh bullshit! What? Is that, is it useless to talk to her? Huh? There's something by my door. Okay, well, let's, the note. Piece of paper. I think someone must have slipped into my door. Hold on. Let's see, hold on, report cards. Um, oh, they're freaking, oh, freaking says dead. That sucks. Um, oh man. Is it because is it because you can only hang out with her when she's Toko and not freaking crazy genocider Jack? Damn it! 
That sucks. That's wasted time. Oh well. Alright. Meet in the dining hall. Handwriting is really good. But to want me to wait hold on, to want to meet up so suddenly. Who wrote it and why? What's the point of calling me out like this? I'm kind of nervous, but there's no way I can't check it out now. Alright, let's go to the dining hall and see who can try to do something. Um, let's see. Ooh, okay. It's well, it's night time, so that means there's no chance of hanging out with anyone. But let's just see what the hell they want. Hey, it says here. Oh, Makoto. Hero. Then the letter I found in my room. Daddy? Yep, I wrote it. Your handwriting is really nice. Mm. Well, I was always taught that if you had bad apprenticeship, a ghost would come and haunt you. Who taught you that? And why do you want to meet with me? Mm. Oh, I just did what Kyoko asked me. Kyoko? Just say. I'm just an errand boy on this. Mm. Anyway, what do you say to a late night bath session? Huh? Dabe. Okay, let's do it. N no. I was totally lost. Kyoko grabbed me by my shoulders. Uh, by the shoulder, pulled me close, and whispered in my ear. It's all an act, so the mastermind will notice. Everyone's winning in the bedhouse. What? Then, did Alter Eco find it, finish his search? You, you got it, hero. Let's go take a dip together. It was probably louder than I needed to be. But me and Hero hurried to the dressing room. I think the mastermind would still see that everyone went into the bathroom. Or the bathhouse, I'm sorry. Whoa, powered up Taka's there. As soon as I got to the dressing room, my, an angry voice echoed out. Hey you! How long were you gonna keep us waiting? Taka's irritated voice pierced through the air as he stared pointedly at his wristwatch. Ah! It's almost 10 o'clock, you know that. Bedtime for all the good little boys and girls. <laughs> Shut up. Huh? What'd you say? You want to make me cry, you little girl? <laughs> Taka. He seems to be even worse off than I'd heard. Well, maybe it's a good thing. Maybe he's finally starting to grow a personality. <laughs> what? You got a lot of poop falling out of that mouth of yours? You know that? <laughs> How rude. A maggot like you has no right to speak that way to our heaven set master. <laughs> Toko, how come you're not around to hang out, man? Hmm? Are you back here with normal gloomy self? I can hardly keep track at this point. <laughs> Shut up. My, my. Well, anyway, everyone's here, right? Then my messenger duty is complete. Boy. You wanted us to uh, you wanted us to all meet here, right, Kyoko? So what are we doing here? No, not that. Isn't it obvious? It's gotta have something to do with Alter Ego, right? So Yeah, totally. Did you finally find a clue? What is it? A way out? The mastermind's true identity? Well, well, let's talk to Kyoko next time.